What are some of the misunderstandings of the Moorish history that our people really need to understand? Wow, that's vast. Well, the main thing is people don't know anything uh, about their uh, nationality or birthrights, or that they are a Moor. Or, well, let's start with what is a Moor. You know, that, that would be the first thing. Is like what is a more and what is you know like they'll say all this stuff about a more and more and more. I mean it's it is the manifestation of the the being into the flesh, the being who travels upon the uh, uh, uh, the the waters of the earth, but first beginning in the waters and and and also the the land of the earth, but beginning in the waters of their mother's womb. See, when you look up the word more, it just doesn't mean a noun. It's actually an action. So it means that since we're all, since man is mind, and we're all spirit, and then and then we come into the flesh, so we travel upon the seven stages of development in the waters of the mother's womb. That's mooring. Right? And then when we're done, we get cut from the navel which is navigating L. And then we become navigating L's upon the earth plane. So you start there. It, it means that you, if you came to the womb, then you were mourning, and you were mourning through the seven stages of the waters and the seven stages of development in your mother's womb. And then you didn't have to be called anything, because that's mm -hmm. just what it is. So those who actually call themselves Moors are actually saying, I'm not anything except that I am, that I am. I am, that I am. That's really what's being said. So that's the first misunderstanding. All right. What mm -hmm. about the misunderstanding of Moors being a group? Uh, no. Or an organization or no. a movement or crew? Because many people say, I'm not down with the Moors or I'm not a Moor. They yeah. attribute it to a card carrying group. Right. Right. Well, first of all, uh, you know, in all of this, we got at some point get into what Prophet Nova Jewel earlier, because that's something to really clear up. But first of all, uh, when people say, I'm not down with the Moors, I'm not, what are the Moors doing? Well, they need to look at themselves and say, what are you doing? Because you're a Moor, whether you recognize it or not. Again, just giving the explanation of what that is. From the militant aspect of it, like the militant, the quote unquote, uh -huh. the so-called militant group that's out there, mm -hmm. a lot of them seem to can't get with the Moors because they say they are integrationalists. How Into much who? Integrationalists, meaning that y'all y'all y'all don't mind white people being oh, Moors, okay, okay, or okay, white people okay. can come amongst you. Okay, let's talk more about that as well. Well, the first thing because our people still dealing with the black and white issue. That's you just answered it. Let me be honest with you, you just answered it. They're dealing with a black and white issue, which is absolutely a farce and has nothing to do with these issues. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. This black and white issue is what was set before them to deal with, to be a diversion. All right? Now, I'm going to tell you what I think about the, the, the what you call militant, but they're really the warriors with, I would say, without a cause. Because this is the cause. The cause is to protect family. And that starts with mother and, and the children. But now, as far as this black and white, and go back to that because it's important, is um, that that was what was placed in the front. And what we need to recognize is that so-called white people, because we got to stop. You know what? We're saying that we got to stop calling ourselves black. But equally, once you understand that, you got to stop calling these people white. Not just because white is, is a political status or white means purity and purity means God and God is the ruler of the earth. It's because they're not white people, P period. If it goes for us, it goes for them. Now, their nationality, they gave it up when they came over here to try to take your stuff, your land, your estate. They had to give up their nationality to become a United States of America citizen, mm -hmm. which is an which is a corporation. Now let, let's let's get straight with what that why that's important. If it's a corporation and you are a citizen slash member of a corporation, there's nothing for you to be but a employee slash servant of a corporation. Mm -hmm. There's no other there's no other nothing there to be. It's no such thing as that because the whole deal was to birthright theft and that's part of our problem that part of our problem is the miseducation we have been lied to I want you to go into this um, whole thing of dealing with sovereignty okay. what is it to be a sovereign to answer this question then people might wake up and realize that the police are not the authority 
Because you can't say that you're born free. And that you can't say, see, in other words, if you knew that government starts with family, society starts with family. And so does, and my son always tell me this, and, and I, I got it, so does the authority of government with family. So who could be out across walking the earth plane, Tara, who could be out walking here that has an authority over you if in fact you have a right from birth to do whatever you want to do, provided you do not infringe on someone else's right to the same. Mm. That's the order of society. That's what should be taught. That's what should come out of the household into family. When does a police, now let's let me want to really talk about that. Yeah, go ahead. You need to recognize that the police are policy enforcers, first of all. They are policies enforcers. So how do they get who are they? Who hired them? They're corporate employees. And you look, there's a state law that says that police are there to protect the interests of the corporations. Hello? Does race mean nationality or skin color? Skin color doesn't mean anything because there's no such thing as skin color other than the terminology. It's a matter of what uh, what degree of melanin you have. And what, that's one of the things that people have done is they have determined, uh, they have divided up people like crayons with skin colors and tones. So race is this. There's only one race and that is the human race. And with in that human race are different nationalities because it's only one the Moabite African woman is the mother of civilization in terms of this human family period there's nothing else with it. and then everything else is in between that and then when we did the experiments or whatever which could be a different thing now our son started breeding into those and that became a different now. Yeah. If you believe that you that your history started on a slave boat, I can guarantee you that's where it ended too. Mm. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. Then after saying that, and so don't believe me, go back and do some studies past the 1700s, and I'll guarantee you, as sure as you're sitting there listening or whether wherever you are watching, listening. You will find nothing but the word more. And that's another thing. Because we weren't called black then. Uh, description, maybe. Black or more, whatever. But, but that's it. Know the difference between a description and an actual, you know, uh, uh, person, place, or thing now. A lot of you are middle class Europeans um, now, as you all know, have started a lot of sovereignty groups. Yeah. And the reason they have started these sovereignty groups is, first of all, keep in mind that they have been falsely claiming to be Americans. They are not. We are the Americans. All right? Because it is we who went out of a job two months or we go into the army for Rome, go to and fro the earth devouring nations to keep Rome in power, then come back and start some nigger group marching and praying about some rights that ain't going to happen. That's why nobody likes black people. Black is a brand for people of Moorish Canaanite descent who fell to the lowest depths of civilization. That's how you can tell them from other civilized people. Now, I'm going to show you, very basically, how most of us have, have been miseducated, quite easily, mm -hmm. right? By letting, rather than convince you, or to try to convince you, I'll have you read it, mm -hmm. all right? So now, she's going to a dictionary, she's going to read black to all the adults and the children who must compete in this world. 
black and blacker, blackest. Abbreviation, I guess, that stands for. BL, BLK. Mm -hmm. Number one, being of the darkest achromatic visual value. Now, stop. Now, a scholar would automatically recognize the flaw. A grammatic, a, a, a, a, a one um, who understands orthology would immediately recognize that she violated. But I know it's because of the training, mm -hmm. right? Now, I want you to do it again. Speak louder okay. in the camera, because remember that you're making history. Right. All right, go ahead. Black, adjective. Now you're talking. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. First rule, first rule in linguistics, this is all around the world, is that you must place the word in its proper matrix, which means womb or part of speech, its mother, its etymon. When you violate that rule, you're already considered either uneducated or incompetent, combination of the two. That's the difference between people who can read and people who cannot. Are we clear? We won't go any further, but I want you to go just beneath that, and I want you to recognize what you see as the word morphs. And remember as we talked, right? As a compound word. All right, read what you see. And it's in the dictionary, understand? Go ahead, continue. Black or more. Now, is that two words or is that one word? Express its structure. Black dot a dot more. All right, read. Noun. Noun. So that means a person, place, thing, or idea, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now continue to read. Any dark-skinned person, especially an African Negro, mm -hmm. earlier black more. And then they separate the black, don't they? Yeah. And it's all an even case, isn't it? Correct. And the more is capitalized, isn't it? Correct. Grammatical correction. So which one is the identity of these people who think they're black and Negroes? Black. Is it in the dictionary? Yeah. Why is it an issue with these people that continue to claim to be somebody that they're not before the civilized world get rejected and accuse the civilized world of racism when race is a human species? Which means they not only can't read, they only know what things mean. Mm -hmm. So in the world, they're called wards of the state or totally incompetent mm -hmm. and are rejected. The definition of American, which is a more, mm -hmm. Al Morocco, America, this is it, right? Mm -hmm. It says copper colored people. The various copper colored people. The various, that's the true definition of American. You can find it in Webster's 1935 dictionary. There's a book. Matter of fact, it's a Webster's Dictionary, 1937, 1939, Webster's Dictionary talks about the definition of America. And it says it is the aboriginal or copper-colored natives found on the American continent by the European. That's the true definition. So anything that's not quote unquote pale skin, because see, remember now, the so-called Indians are supposed to be the real Native Americans. No, Moors are the Native Americans. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And if the rest of one mother giving this up, <laughs> that's what mm -hmm. determines that? right there. You know? right. I'm one of those it various copper color much. people. I always yeah. call people say, are you Indian? All my life. And I, and I, and you know, but here's the thing. The Indian is supposed to be the Native American. Right. But this is not India. Moors mm -hmm. are Native Americans. But some don't want to call themselves Native Americans because it's been given to the so-called Indian. Well, bring it back because you're not going. You have to bring it back because until you come right, it ain't going to get right. Africans Muslims discovered the Americans. That is what the Turkey President Erdogan confirms. African Americans have long been mocked for claiming Native American ancestry, and that Africans populated the Americas long before Columbus and the Europeans. Colonials set sails for the American continent. Weekly, the History Channel broadcasts a television series called Ancient Aliens, which seeks to convince viewers that it was not ancient men of color, but aliens from another world who built the megalithic structures and pyramids of the Americas, and which founded the Omec, Aztec and Mayan culture.
But the West's revisionist history campaign suffered a setback when Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan told the world that black Moorish Muslims reached America 300 years before Columbus. Latin Amerika'nın İslam'la tanışması, dikkatinizi çekiyorum, 12. yüzyıla kadar dayanır. Amerika kıtasının 1492'de Kolomb tarafından keşfedildiği iddia edilir. Oysa Kolomb'dan 314 sene önce 1178'de Müslüman denizciler Amerika kıtasına ulaşmışlardı. 1178. Hatta Kristof Kolomb'un hatıralarında Küba kıyılarında dağın tepesinde bir caminin varlığından bahsedilmektedir. This is not taught in your public schools, although it will be. The history that the children are learning today is not going to be the history that's going to be taught in the next 25 years. It's going to be radically different. We now know for a fact that long before Columbus, there were four major migrations of blacks to the Americas, different parts of the Americas. And it is now known that the West African Kingdom of Mali had huge fleets of merchant vessels and that these kings, these black kings of West Africa began sailing across the Atlantic to Mexico as early as 900 AD, about 200 years before Christ up until right at about the time of Christ, in other words about 2,000 years ago. There now appears that there were wealthy West African and North African blacks and came, if you can believe this or not, but there's solid proof for it now, to Southern Illinois. You know what, brother? If you were to walk into any mosque in America and you just laid your hands on the first person or the third person or the fifth person that you see, you realize that you're laying your hands on a Native American? There were only 8% of the slaves that came to America. So how is it that there are so many more people that they claim are black or African American? I think they got the numbers wrong because a lot of Native Americans are the ones that they're counting as black folks too. When white people came to Africa, they came showing themselves as superior to the black people, digging out things that black people taught them. You know, what we don't have in our history books is that the civilization we have in Europe today was brought to us by black people. Even black people don't know that. Even many, many black people don't know that. They don't know that the Moors. They were West Africans and North Africans and Central Africans that came to Europe and ruled Spain. They brought civilization to us. They showed us how to use soap, how to be clean, how to, to behave like a decent human being, you know? All these things we didn't know that before the Moors brought civilization to Spain. Did you know that the Moors ruled in Spain for 700 years? Where is that in our history books? It's nowhere to be found. 